This is yet again another character whose name I have no idea. Uh, it's it's a GT character. That's that's all I know. Um, it's also one of the rarest Diagostini Dragon Ball toys. Um, some of the villains they they also made all of the dragons and all that stuff. All of those are really rare. He's actually not as well painted as um, you might as some of the other ones. I was a little bit disappointed in that. And he's also not as heavy. He's actually like hollow, which I was slightly surprised by. Um, because this, this, this big guy over here isn't hollow. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely cool to have. If, if you know what this character is called, definitely like let me know in the uh, comment section, please. And of course, this is King Kai. I Definitely, without a doubt, one of the best King Kai figures. Mine is really beat up. I don't know if that's gonna, you can see that at all in the video, but there's all kinds of discoloration in here and everything. And he's full of dust too, but we can get rid of that. But um, no articulation, but beautifully beautifully sculpted, beautifully proportioned, great great face, the symbol is painted so well, uh, it's just a great King Kai figure, I love it, I love, I love, 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 love this figure. Alright, now we're almost through all of them, but we can't forget about Dr. Giro. he's got these great like copper colored pants, I wasn't expecting such a great um, paint job on this guy, but he really is, he's a great Dr. Giro figure. I can't say that I like him more than the Irwin figure, um, just because it's kind of nice to have like articulation in Dr. Giro. So I don't know, he's just such a strange looking character. I really like Dr. Giro a lot. I think my favorite Dr. Giro um, figure is actually the Irwin model kit. I thought that was really, really unique Dragon Ball toy uh, for sure. But this one's really nice. I was really excited when this one was included in the lot because it was one of the ones I never thought I would find. And a last, but certainly not least, the crowning glory, probably now one of my rarest Dragon Ball toys. This is... Goku Jr. from the last episode of Dragon Ball GT. Um, he's a beautiful little little Goku figure, or Goku Jr. figure, um, and very highly sought after. I think that, I mean, even as far as minifigures go, I think this is the only um, Goku Jr. figure. There's also a Vegeta Jr. Um, that they made as well, but that figure is, is just as rare, if not more rare, than this one. Um, he is the, the Vegeta Jr. is also the only other Diagostini Dragon Ball figure I'm currently looking for. Um, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with just having the Goku Jr., if, if that's the way it ends up being. I have seen pictures of the Vegeta Jr., um, and he's not quite as nice as the Goku Jr. This is really like, it's, 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 like, it's, it's pretty much the Diagostini Dragon Ball masterpiece. Um, the only thing I would have changed was having the tie on, you know, the back of the bandana, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, he is so fantastic. He is a treasure in my collection. Um, before we conclude, uh, I would also like to show, as I said, some of the Editions Atlas figures. Um, this is how edi the Editions Atlas figures came packaged. Um, it's very much the way that the Diagostini figures came packaged, too. You would get a figure, um, and then you would also get pages um, that you could put in a binder. These are already, these are like three hole punched and you could collect them all, all the pages, and there's like binders and binders and binders of these these uh, pages that you could get that have information on the characters and um, sometimes they had ads for the toys, they had games, they had like how to draw the figures, they had all this great stuff in them. Um, and then, you know, like this is the, uh, this is the, er, this is the edition, Editions Atlas uh, version of Frieza. So as you can see, it's, it's very, very, very similar to the Diagostini version, but the base is black. The base was always black on the Editions Atlas figures, whereas on the Diagostini figures, the bases were always white. So that was um, a way in which they differed. Um, sometimes the sculpting on the Editions Atlas figures were better. Sometimes they were worse. Sometimes the Editions Atlas figures were um, far and away much, much better than Diagostini figures, and the opposite is also true. I think for the Frieza, definitely, the uh, Diagostini wins uh, out over the Editions Atlas. The Editions Atlas has uh, this finger pointed, he's got like an eye missing, but again, it's, it's um, you have to sort of take it as an individual to individual basis Some, sometimes. There's always exceptions to the rules. Um, the only other Editions Atlas figure that I have is the Boo, and he's actually one of the stranger uh, editions Atlas figures. Some of them, some of the Editions Atlas figures were just downright deformed, um, and they looked nothing like their Diagostini counterparts. And this was a good example. I don't have the Diagostini version of this, but uh, as you can see, the, the Editions Atlas version is just very, very strange. 
Um, this one you can't take off of the base, but some of them you could. And uh, the Editions Atlas figures, um, I believe, all came out in 1996. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is also the same year that most, if not all, of the Diagostini figures were released. Besides the Editions Atlas figures, the Diagostini figures have one other variant. I don't know what company made them, um, but I do know that they came from Spain. Um, so they were not Italian figures, and they were paint of figures. Uh, they were part of a series called uh, Pinta, I believe. And you could get these figures blank, like these. This is the uh, the geek Gohan, and um, and you could paint them any any way you liked. Um, and it's great that these were made like this because you really see in these unpainted figures just how detailed these sculpts are, far more detailed really than they needed to be. Um, you know, for sort of cheap, you know, children's toys, like, they, they really were very well done. Um, this is the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, Gohan is one of my favorite characters, so this is, this is a, definitely a treasure. Um, this is one of the, uh, the painted figures of uh, Omega Shenron, but um, I believe it was attacked by a child, and, uh, and somebody, some, some kid tried to paint it. I will eventually strip the paint off of him. Um, I have seen pictures of this guy unpainted, and he is so detailed. It's bizarre, like, that they actually spent this much time detailing a toy like this. But, um, yeah, you can't really tell right now because he's covered in a layer of um, goopy, goopy paint of, of some kind. But uh, a beautiful figure nonetheless. So I, I am looking forward to stripping the paint off of these guys. Um, these, these guys are rare. Like, out of all of the figures I've shown today in this video, these are probably the rarest. Um, the only place I've seen them available... Um, you can sometimes find them on eBay Spain, but very rarely. Um, I do know that they also came with, um, with sheets kind of like these for Editions Atlas. These figures came with them too. Um, so when, no matter what release, no matter where you get these figures, they will always come, you know, unless you get them loose, they, will always, they were always packaged with, with sheets like that that you could put in a binder. So yeah, that was sort of a brief look at the Diagostini figures of the world as they're found in France, in Italy, and in Spain. I hope that you've enjoyed. I know that this was sort of a little bit of a half-baked history lesson on, on Diagostini. There's a lot I kind of left out, and uh, obviously I don't have a full set of, of any of these three series, so oh, I did the best I could, but um, I've been wanting to show these off for a long time now, and uh, they deserve to get more airtime on YouTube and other places. They're really nice figures. Um, they're really hard to find. I want to make that totally clear because um, I know you guys are going to ask, where do I get them? Um, DragonBallToys.com in our market section, sometimes people sell them. Um, they're not the type of thing that a lot of collectors want to give up because they're so gorgeous and they're so hard to find. Um, I would try eBay Spain. I would try eBay Italy. I would try eBay for the rest of, you know, for North America, but you're not going to find them very often, I'm telling you right now. Um, the painted figures are the hardest to find, as I said before, the edition Atlas figures are the second hardest to find, um, and then, you know, of course, the Agostini figures are the third hardest to find out of that, um, and they are always pretty expensive. Um, if you buy them individually, it's better. Um, you know, I, I would expect to maybe pay 10 bucks a piece for some of the more common ones, but ones like this one specifically, or the, you know, um, Vegeta Jr., you're, you're going to pay a lot for each one. I managed to get um, this guy and a couple of the other ones in a relatively inexpensive lot for what it had in it. Um, you know, some of the rarest ones were in this lot, so I got a pretty good deal on them. But they are worth looking for. That is the point. They are fantastic Dragon Ball figures. If you like GT especially, you're going to love these. Some of them, some of these characters like... Um, like, like this guy, and Dende, and Popo, they look the way that they did in Z, so, you know, it's okay, even if, you, even if you're not into uh, to GT, you know, you can have characters that still look pretty much the way you would like them to. So, anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Um, definitely check out the Diagostini and the Editions Atlas section of the DragonBallToys.com archive. I will be putting links to those sections of the archive in the sidebar as well. And uh, I will be back soon with, with more videos. I hope that everybody has been well. I have missed you all. All insanity has broken loose, so I am back now, though. Um, check the site, DragonBallToys.com. Uh, updates, news updates will be beginning very shortly once again. We have some new editors, and they're getting ready to do their thing. So everything is good. I hope you guys have been well. All the best. This is Old Fan yet again, signing out. Take care, guys. Bye-bye!